Hello everyone, how are we doing? My name is Said and today we're back with a new video about the meteorite and history. How did meteorites shape the ancient Egyptian culture? The Egyptians were big into looking at the sky for probably a variety of reasons. There was obviously no light pollution and they we could see things very well. Ra was their sun god, so they clearly had a lot of connections to the sky and looked at the uh, look at it as a kind of religion. But they also were probably um, fortunate enough to see a couple large meteorite falls. Egyptians weren't able to smile iron into a metal form, so if they were to see meteorite fall and go collect it, it would be a shiny metal that they've never seen before, and also have a lot of important properties that you want in a metal, and they certainly couldn't make that metal very well. It's really rare and was so found in a lot of different tombs of some of the pharaohs. The pharaohs, they were the kings in the old Egyptians. King Tut had a knife that was made from a meteoritic material. Just imagine a blade which made from the metal of a meteorite. It's really sweet looking knife, but they clearly treated it as a very important metal and they gave it its own um, hieroglyph about iron from the sky, which is what it directly translates to um, iron from the sky. That in itself tells uh, you that they knew where it was coming from that it was something special that wasn't just lying on the ground. Uh, King Tut's space knife is made from the meteoric iron and the, the sheets uh, is made from gold. This would even now be considered pretty beaten to own. This, this knife is really special. So. Do, do, we, do we owe the early spirit of Christianity to a meteorite and air burst that um, Saul thought was a sign from Jesus which convinced him to convert and start uh, evangelizing? Yes, there is pretty good evidence that where that that where was the sky event you look at the stories that were told and they match up very well with what actually happens in the meteoritic uh, air burst down to the medi uh, medical conditions that um, Saul had which um, was basically some blindness for a few days and then there is a there is a pulling of of them uh, aisle if the historical documents are correct that was was happening to him paintings of the time showed him being knocked off his horse and people being knocked down there was something that happened at the time and it matched matched up pretty well with and what we know has happened in the recent time with the with things like Chelyabinsk in Russia in 2003, which was a meteorite aid burst as well as a meteorite in Siberia about a decade ago. There is a quite uh, quite of a bit uh, quite bit um. There is a quite bit of connective evidence to the suggest that um, change the history because of meteorite basically, which is what the moon eventually formed from that. Before that, we were on a similar trajectory as Venus. Venus has a very crushing atmosphere too. The surface is really hot 
it has 90% um, CO, CO2 so it's basically unlivable and um, when that meteoric impact happened that formed the moon it raised um, the atmosphere that earth, uh, earth had developed at that time so it hit the recent bottom which was really um, beneficial uh, for the um, for the earth in the form of life because life doesn't really exist in conditions that venus um, provides uh, i think um, of taking off a winter coat i think that's how a lot of people view view it at this point right i think this um, this was enough and this is enough for this video and i hope you learn something new from this video and waiting for new one for uh, about uh, seven days uh, later in next video we're gonna talk about the lunar meteorite and how uh, we can identify a lunar meteorite thank you i'm Said, and thank you for watching please if you like this video please um like and if you don't <laughs> so you can use from this like thank you please uh, subscribe to the channel see you soon and thank you bye